Hey family, welcome to Scorpio Intuitions. Uh, family, we're gonna dive into this energy. If this your first time, go ahead, like, and subscribe. If this isn't your first time, hey, my beautiful family. So we're gonna dive into this energy, whatever the spirit wants us to know. Um, okay, messages, <laughs> messages of clarity, love, and light. Ooh, okay, so before even getting into it, somebody wants to send you a message, family. They want to send you a message. I feel like the message could be pertaining to how to come back in from uh, from something that, that may have taken place in the past. I feel like this is um, somebody that's coming in wanting to be youthful, playful. They don't want uh, you to feel, it's like whatever the energy is, they don't want you to feel uh, heavy. So if this was somebody that kind of messed up in the past, they don't want it to be the same energy in which they left. I see this five of pentacles. So with this five of pentacles, this person is feeling left out in a cold at this time. I feel like this is an energy that once you you felt and now and now they're feeling because you are in this energy of being very busy and they want to come in and work with you. But I feel like the energy that you're giving off is like you really don't want to be bothered with a particular person or just not even this particular person but people in general of the past and it's like this person is really wanting you to uh work with them on a particular situation this person is really diving into their feelings on how they feel about you and and right now they want to show you they want to show you how they feel it's the energy of let me show you now i feel like this person has been trying to uh build up the the energy and the thoughts in their mind to to move towards you and i feel like right now there's some type of message that they want to give this this person sees you as the queen of pentacles right now i feel like there's an energy of you being very stable um they're hesitant because it, it's like you're in this energy of you have everything that you need. You know, you're not codependent on anybody. You're not really needing anyone to do anything particularly for you. And because you're in that energy, this person is feeling like, what do I have to offer my Scorpio family, you know? And right now, this is the energy of them wanting to give the time. Because in the past, this person wasn't giving time. They were giving time to people around them. They were giving time to other situations. And I feel like now... Now they want your time. Now they want your your love, your energy, your attention. That's just a clarity. Yeah, this person wants your attention because they feel that you're the sun. They feel like you are their happiness. Since you've been gone, I feel like this person has really realized what makes them happy, what they were fighting. And this person realized they were fighting their happiness. And now that your energy is gone, now they're starting to realize it and they want that old thing back. But there's, a, it, but, but there's, but I feel like in when it comes to you, uh, family, you felt like the situation was too much of a burden. You felt like like you were holding the whole relationship together. You were wanting something that this person probably didn't show you that they truly wanted. And because of that, it's like thinking about uh, coming back into union or coming back into a situation with this person is something that you feel like would be very draining. Not just that, but it's because you're focused on your son. You're focused on what is going to make you happy. And right now in your eyes, this situation, this person, these people are not going to bring you this happiness. So you're not really paying attention to it. I must say, there is somebody that is really uh, focusing on you. They're focusing out on the things that they should be focusing on, which is which could be healing, which could be uh, manifesting things that they desire. Well, maybe they are. <laughs> they they manifest in your ass, and right now they're they're looking at the past and they're trying and and it's like they're trying to they're remembering things and not just that, but they're coming toward passionately towards you hoping for this new beginning, but I feel like you've already got this new beginning. This is like understanding with yourself, knowing that what you were, what you are holding on to, what you desire is what you're calling in. And I feel like this person wants to come in when you no longer desire them. Messages of clarity and truth most high. Yeah, this person wants to wants to give you some type of love. This person feels like you are their one of their you you are their divine connection. 
Most High, what is this person's feelings towards my collective? I'm going to get to Mystic B's official, unofficial messages. Most High, what is this person's feelings at this time? You forced me to heal my wounds. So I feel like this person feels that it's something about you that that you made them look at themselves and you made them realize where they were hurting because they were hurting you. And once you stop allowing them to inflict some type of pain on you, then you started, uh, then they start realizing, because this could be somebody who, who could have, I feel like neglected you, could have not been the type to face up to what they've been doing. And when you moved your energy away from them, they realized the same situations was happening, but you removed yourself. So it made them really look at their self and what it is that they are creating their life from. Messages of clarity. What is this? Per Ooh, okay. Right now, this person feels abandoned. They feel abandoned because it, it, it's like you refuse to continue to deal with some type of abuse. If it was mental abuse, if it was some type of physical abuse or um, like uh, neglect. And I feel like this person was expecting you to stay in that and that energy of letting them neglect you, letting them misuse you, letting them put you in competition with other people. And when you did that, they feel abandoned. And now we have, a, I almost let them destroy our connection. So this means this person, when this person was leaving you out, they were listening to other people. They were dealing with other people. And I feel like these people were not, did not have the best interest in mind for them. They were still trying to get whatever they wanted from this person by giving them bad insight. The next card is the way we met was unreal. So this person feels that the way you both came in together was something that was very memorable. And I feel like, um, and, and I feel like that's another reason why this person won't be able, well, it seems like they can't let you go. You've healed enough now. Unblock me. This person you have blocked. They tried to reach out and they could, if they tried to call, it kept going to voicemail. So this person saying they've been watching you. So since you've healed, unblock them and let them back in. And the last card I have is, I know I can't give you what you need. This person is not sure of themselves right now. I feel like because you've elevated so much since you guys have been separated, this person is knowing that the level in which you need from them, they don't feel like they're able to give it to you at this time. So whew, with that being said, Spirit, give me two more cards for this reading. Yeah, this person doesn't feel confident in being able to give you the things that you desire and it was a third party situation and now they're afraid that you could have moved on with somebody else, but they still are coming in to, to talk to you to see if you have solely moved on. All right, collective, I love you. Love yourself. Remember, we are the gods.